Now, I was telling you some things. You ready for this? Okay, let me. What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? 7 40. Oh, we gained time. I've gone very far. And we still have some time, right? Oh, good. Good. Now, um, it's important that you learn to do something with your money for God to multiply. Because I told you, financial prosperity is your birthright. You see? But what do you do with your money? Having the understanding that God's blessing is upon your life. The Abrahamic blessing is yours. Let's look at it again. Genesis 17 and verse 6. Just look at it again. Very important. And I will make the exceeding fruitful. And I told you that's King James were exceedingly fruitful. Extremely fruitful. So I'm fruitful and productive. Did you hear that? I will make you exceedingly fruitful. This is part of the Abrahamic blessing. Being fruitful. So there's nothing that connects me that can be unfruitful. If I get into that business, it will work. It doesn't matter that they said, um, you know, uh, it's not working for X, Y, Z. Not me. Anything I do works. But then I don't just do anything. I'm led with wisdom. He says, God gives to the man that is good in his sight wisdom, knowledge, and joy. So what? You receive wisdom. You walk in wisdom. What is the wisdom of God telling you to do? What is the wisdom of God guiding you to do? Thank God for the ability to speak in other tongues. Thank God for the ability to meditate on his word. Did you know that if you're meditating on God's word, the spirit of God can tell you what to do? Sometimes, because people don't really have that spiritual understanding, when the spirit of God is talking to them, they don't believe. They think it's their mind. They think it's their head. Because they've not been trained in the things of God. But hear me well. Everyone who is born again is blessed with the blessing of Abraham. The promise of God unto Abraham to bless him in everything belongs to you. But follow his word. He said, if they will listen and obey. He said, in the King James, he says, they shall spend their days in prosperity. All their days in prosperity. Who wants to walk in prosperity always is anybody here always not just sometimes always you have some people there was a time they used to prosper there was a time they used to have money and when you have money you have friends right there was a time and when the money is going the friends go with the money and then no more money like they say no money no friend right okay so now no more friends because not enough money God wants you to prosper all the time. I will always be prosperous. I walk in abundance. You know what I mean by abundance? I always and will always have much more than enough in everything. I will always have much more than enough. And that will never change. Because I'm born that way. I'm born to be a king. Yeah. Now that's the word of God. That's the word of God. That's
that's the word of God. Now, let's look at wisdom. Wisdom from God. How he tells us to deal with financials. Okay? So that we move from point A to point B. Because God wants something. He said to Moses, what do you have in your hand? Because Moses wanted a miracle. How can we get out of this situation? He said, what do you have in your hand? The prophet said to the woman, what do you have in your house? What you have is all you need for God to put his blessing on it. And he starts giving you direction what to do with it. Everything you have is a miracle seed. Amen. That means it is the seed for the miracle that you need. God wants it as a point of contact. For example, sometimes we have had people who said the Spirit of God was ministering to them to give their land. Let me tell you something. When God tells you to give your land, why does he tell you that? Because he has a bigger one for you. Sometimes it may not be about a land. He might even want to deliver you from trouble. Some other times he has something much greater for you. Anything that God tells you to give, it is not in his interest. It is in your interest. It is because of something bigger that he wants to do for you. Always it's like that. And let me tell you this. You never have to argue with God when he tells you to give. Why? Because when God is asking you to give, he's already looking at what he wants to do for you. And your connection to that thing is your giving. That's the connection. But you know, we've seen people who remain the same. 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, they only grew older. Their financial condition didn't change. They just got older. That shouldn't be. No, that shouldn't be. That shouldn't be. No, 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 no. I have people here who have known me for many years. Apart from my own siblings. I have people who went to school with me. They're here. They know me. You have only seen growth and increase. That's all you've seen. You didn't see my life like, like this. Then I said, oh, whatever happened to Pastor Chris? Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I'm like this. Upward and forward. <laughs> Upward and forward. Ever increasing. No, this is just zone five. No, think about it. Even in the church growth. When, just a second, just a second. I introduced Pastor Eti just now. When Pastor Eti came to church, you remember when we were in Tafa's house, right? When we were in that small place. Pastor uh, Dickness Badamuzi is here. Before we even went to Tafa's house, Connerest Hotel, one small place like that. You know Connerest Hotel? Some of you would know it. I don't know if it's still there. One small hotel. That, we were there. For a couple of weeks services. Then inside the Keja, there's Man Center. The Manufacturing Association of Nigeria. They have a center. Uh, a small place there. Where we are uh, 150 people on Sunday morning service. And 30 to 35 people on Wednesday night. By the time we were about 250 members, I was telling them that we would distribute Bibles around the world. Are we not doing it now? <laughs> Hallelujah. I told them so. I told them. I, I told them. In that meeting then, as small as we were, when we came out with Rhapsody of Realities, the Daily Devotional, our messenger angel, I told them, we're, we're just about uh, maybe uh, less than a thousand members. I, I think it was this uh, Oyeleke street. This street is not far. It's here. It's, you'll be surprised if you don't know the building. There's a small building inside that place. Small building. We were inside there. And I told them, this book God has said it is going all over the world. Now imagine that we are not so many, and I'm saying those things. Yeah, I said God said it, and so it will. Now 
as it is today, every nation in this world has Rhapsody of Realities. And it is the number one daily devotional in the whole world. And it is the most widely distributed book in the world. The only thing that is above it is the Bible. Because we are also part of sponsoring the distribution of the Bible. Now, there's no way that a human being can get that done. It takes the power of God. We have the highest number of translators for any material in the whole world. How can, how can, how can you make that happen? How can you make that happen? That's the power of the Holy Ghost. Do you know any material that people are celebrating in the streets of nations around the world? There's nothing like it. Only Rhapsody of Realities. It's an amazing phenomenon. <laughs> celebrating it in the streets of nations. It's in king's palaces. It's in presidential palaces. Prime ministers of nations have Rhapsody of Realities. You'd be amazed. How many of them are reading Rhapsody? These things cannot happen by a human decision. It has to be in connection with the blessing of Abraham. God said so. God said so. And that this will be happening from this part of the world is amazing. You've seen a lot of the ministers from so many countries come here and share with you. We, we had a, I think the last International School of Ministry conference, we had from about 105 nations, all right? Ministers from all over the world. We have another one coming up this April. It's holding Johannesburg, South Africa. There's nothing like it in the world. It's amazing. But you know what? We are still moving. There's still much ground to be covered. And that's why I'm sharing these things with you. Sharing these things with you. So you shake up the world. Because he said, in the last days, those who were called nothing, will be seen at the top. He said so. He said so. And the prophetic word from the scripture shows that the last move of the spirit will come from Africa. And it's happening already. It's in scripture. Man can't change it. It's written. So we, we didn't plant ourselves into this situation. The Spirit of God located us and put us into this thing by himself. It is not by might. It is not by power. But by my spirit, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Everything we do. Because we're the seed of Abraham. Look at the, the, the school that just started, Love War Schools. Something just happened. Let me tell you about it. Um, in fact, when we get involved with other schools, whether it's in sports, it's in any competition, we win. How, how can those things just happen? Young school. And recently something happened. You were telling us about it. Can I have the microphone? This is in Lagos here. Anything we're involved in. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Yeah, the school is just four years plus. Four years plus. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And um, we applied for approval in Lagos State. Yeah. And normally, for our four years, you should be in like in category 
C. Mm -hmm. But when they came for the inspection, we were moved to category A. Thank you. The top schools in Lagos State. Thank you. Glory to God. And how have we performed so far? Excellently. The exams, um, for instance, there is this exam we call Checkpoint. It's in British curriculum. Our first time of participating was this year, and 100% pass. Hallelujah. Because we're the seed of Abraham. Excellence is ours. It's in us. Excellence is ours. I said the first thing is to acknowledge it and accept it. The second thing is to walk in the light of it. Don't turn to the left hand or to the right. Stay in it. Let nothing shake you. Be unmoved no matter what. Then you will qualify. You will win. You will win. Hallelujah. Okay, let's look at quick scriptures here. Ho, 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 ho. Blessed be God. Proverbs chapter 6. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 